Good morning, it's Monday the 13th of April and today I'd like to play you something that's very dear to my heart. If you'd asked me when I was a teenager what did I think was the greatest work of art ever made by man, would I have answered Mozart's Jupiter Symphony? Would I have answered Shakespeare's Hamlet? Would I have answered Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel? No, I would unhesitatingly have told you that the greatest work ever produced by mankind was this, Porgy and Bess, um, book by DuBose Haywood and Ira Gershwin, and music by that young Olympian, that god amongst us, George Gershwin. Um, I absolutely obsessed over it, and then when I was on a family holiday in Canada when I was 16, I was very excited to discover it was going to be playing at Toronto's O'Keeffe Centre, so I begged, cajoled, whined and wheedled, and um, I was allowed to go and see it um, the night before we flew home. Well, I had a wonderful time, I was very overexcited, didn't sleep very well afterwards, and in the morning went down to the hotel swimming pool and promptly fainted in the corridor. Um, paramedics were called and they were about to cart me off to hospital when my dad had to utter the immortal line, no, he's all right, there's nothing wrong with him, he's just overexcited from seeing Porgy and Bess. Um, anyway, you can imagine then a few decades later, last year, um, when Porgy and Bess was showing at the English National Opera, I was very excited to see it again, but um, also slightly worried that this piece that I hadn't now spent time with in a while, whether I it would sort of not be the masterpiece I thought it was. Well, by the end of the second scene, the amazing funeral scene, I was completely shaking and overcome with emotion, so I guess it still works on many levels. And I would very much like to share some of it with you today. If you play the opera without cuts, there's sort of three hours of music there, so we can only have about a thirtieth of the wonders of George Gershwin's Porgy and Bess. Thank you. 
Now, going back about 30 years to my first musical, Born Again in Chichester, I was doing quite a lot of publicity because as the young composer that Peter Hall had found to write this new musical for Mandy Patinkin and Peter Hall, I was um, asked to do quite a few interviews and I was longing for a journalist to come and ask me, um, so what's Born Again about in order that I could say E natural? Um, thankfully, no journalist did ask me the question and the young composer was not did not have his facetious streak cruelly exposed to the prying eyes. But um, if you ask me what is Porgy and Bess about, I will happily answer, E-natural. <laughs>